Hello everyone, welcome to snippet number two. I'm going to carry on these snippets as frequently as I just feel like. Um, hopefully snippets of ideas to give you some suggestions of how to start your card or journal and then you can take it as far as you want. It's entirely up to you. So please be aware these are tiny snippets of ideas. I'm using bundle sage, no I'm not, I'm using old paper, salvage patina and salty ocean. I'm using the A7 acrylic block by All and Create. So I'm using old paper first, then salvage patina and just applying them to an acrylic block. And then I'm going to take a touch of salty ocean. So just take a little touch of salty ocean. Don't add too much salty ocean because that will the colour will be too much. It'll be too overpowering with the salty ocean. I'm then going to spritz the acrylic block. And I'm just going to let it run. Just so the colours blend a little bit. Just have that kitchen roll just so that it catches it. And the A7 acrylic block is just a nice size for the four inches by six inches cardstock. Just allow that just to sit on there for a few moments and we'll just move that on one side. Just leave it like that and allow it to do its thing for a few moments. And then when it's done its thing, you can lift it off, lift the acrylic block off and then dry with the heat tool, just so that you've got a nice, quick, easy background. What I'm going to do then is use my stamp set 370, The Great Outdoors. These little snippets, I'm going to show you how to extend them as well. What I mean by that is I'm going to show you my finished piece that I've extended from my snippet. So I'm going to use The Great Outdoors 370. And what I'm going to do is use this little bit of a, a leaf piece here. I'm also going to work combining stamps as well. So I'm going to use Versifying Claire Verdant. So just take that Verdant ink. You can have the word nature. Just take that Verdant ink and then a little bit of Shady Lane and just add a little bit of darkness with the Shady Lane. Then just take your kitchen roll and make sure that you haven't got the edge of the boot or the edge of the G. But don't worry too much, it's a background. It's nothing to stress about. These are simple ideas. I'm then going to place this down onto my card. So just place that down on there. And I will show you my snippet number one that I've extended the idea. I'll be adding these to a little black journal by Diane Reevely and then I can look back on them and if I'm stuck for ideas, I've got the starting point of an idea that I can use in a journal page, a mixed media piece or a card, wherever inspiration takes you. That could be a card finished with a sentiment straight across the top. And that's a three minute snippet that could be done quite easily no problem at all so i'm just going to add that and then i'm going to add a little bit i'm going to incorporate this stamp set here stamp set 909 garden notes just to show you that you can mix old with new and what i'm going to do is just take a small area of the stamp I'm going to look at it and decide what small area. So I'll take this small area here. Just take a small area, start with the verdant and then add touches of shady lane. Extend that design a little bit just with the stamp. Just extend it a little bit and I'm using it off the acrylic block. This extends your design. I'm trying to add a lid on top of a lid, which is not a good idea. I'm then going to take my little quill ends and use the quill ends. And what I'm going to do is place the quill ends just here, like so. 
I will give that a little bit of a 3D element. Don't give it too much of a 3D element because we're going to add this to our journals. Well, you may not, you may create it as a card. I'm adding it to a journal, then I've got ideas for the future. So I'm going to add that here. And I will keep repeating using a couple of stamps over and over again in a few snippets so that you get the idea that even if you've got a couple of stamps, you can just use a couple of ideas. Just add our splatters. I'm then going to take um, my sentiment, which is on this stamp set here, which is the Wellington one, which is the one that we showed at the beginning, the Great Outdoors stamp set 370. Try not to pick a piece of card up that isn't scrap. Piece of scrap card. Then I'm going to use black ink, Face of Fine Claire, and just ink that sentiment up, grown with love. And I want you to fall in love with your old stamps and your new stamps. And the snippets are to inspire you to either extend the design, leave it as it is, whatever you want. So just cut that out. I will have most of the cutting done in the snippet videos because obviously I don't want them to be more than 15 minutes long because that's the idea. They are a little snippet. So no faffing round with too much cleaning up, Tracy, is the whole point. So I'm then going to just add my Posca pen just around the edges. Let's see if in this one I don't drop the pen onto the sentiment like I did on the last one. There we go. Then we'll just clean that mess up. What did I say about not too much time cleaning up? So we'll then add our grown with love. So just decide where you want that. You see, I don't want it to detract from that leaf. I rather like that leaf. I rather like the way it looks. And I don't want to split the design up so you can't see it. It does look lovely there, but let me just, ch let me just check. Yes, I just love the fact that you can see the leaf. And if I want to extend that design, I can. I could add a Wellington. Just add that down there. Now, just be aware that you don't want to, you know, use your hands all over your card too much. And then what I'm going to do with my snippets, I'm adding them to a black journal and I'm going to use stamp set 899 garden mix tagged. And it's got these little tags on here with numbers on. Can you see? And what I'm going to do is now I can't find the one that I've cut out. You know, you can't, you can't make it up, can you? I've cut one out. Where's that gone? Is that it? Do you know, I've cut one out and it's so tiny, I've now lost it. Unbelievable. So we'll waste a few minutes now. Well, I, you can tell I've cut one out because it's there, look. There it is. I put my ink pad on top of it. So this is my snippet number two, like so. And when I get my journal, which should arrive tomorrow, I will be adding these just to the edge of the page or the edge of my card. I haven't decided yet. Just to number my snippets. Right. Let's go back to snippet number one, which I'm just waiting for my book. There's my little tag with the number one so I can add that. And that's how I've taken my snippet up. I've added a little flower to my page just to take that up a little bit, just to add to that snippet. And when it's completely dry, I will add a little touch of white. 
because I want these snippets to be quality snippets. I don't want them to just, you know, I don't want us to forget our details. So that's how I've added to that one. And here is today's snippet. And adding to it, what I mean by that is practice what you've learnt from me on my YouTube videos, add a bit of shading and maybe you can add more. I like that just as it is. So I hope you enjoy snippet number two and I will photograph these and show them so you can see them in the black book as well. Love to all. See you all soon. Bye for now.